Blood-borne pathogens are microorganisms such as viruses that are present in human blood or bodily fluids and can cause disease in humans. These pathogens can easily be transferred from one person to another if the circumstances are right and usually cannot see that someone has them as they may show no signs or symptoms. These pathogens include, but are not limited to, hepatitis B, hepatitis C and HIV. Remember, blood-borne pathogens are not in every body fluid, but you must take care and we therefore always assume that they're in any bodily fluid to ensure our safety and that of the safety of our customers and colleagues. When we refer to these blood-borne pathogens, we're also talking about other bodily fluids, especially those that are visibly contaminated with blood, as they may have the potential to transmit disease. For example, some other fluids are cerebrospinal fluid, which is the fluid that surrounds the brain, synovial fluid, this is the fluid that lubricates joints, pleural fluid, this is the fluid around the lungs, amniotic fluid, which is found in the uterus surrounding a baby, and finally, semen, vaginal secretions, and urine can also transmit disease. Diseases can also be transmitted through blood or any body fluid contaminated with blood together with any bodily fluid that cannot be recognized. You should always assume that any of these fluids have potentially infectious material in them and handle them as if they could give you an infection. One of the primary ways of transmitting blood-borne pathogens is through sexual contact. Other ways are when a contaminated sharp object cuts or punches the skin, for example a needle stick injury, during the tattoo process, the use of illegal drugs, and a cut from broken glass or a bite. Infections can occur when an infected body fluid gets into an open cut or a mucous membrane, which is found in the eyes, mouth, ears, nose, and when a contaminated object touches inflamed skin like acne or skin abrasion. Finally, intact skin is an excellent first defense against disease as blood-borne pathogens cannot soak through the skin. The problem is you never know if you have a small cut that could allow infection to pass through.